<laughs> the Walther Rotex R8. Me likey likey. Welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. Walther, it's a very big brand name. It's known all around the world. And that's probably due to one very special agent. Now, Mrs. Airgun Gear says I'm a little bit special too. And I have to say, I can see the resemblance sometimes between me and him. It's quite uncanny. Anyway, when a brand name like Walther launches a brand new air rifle, it has to be good. Damn good. This is the Walther Rotex R8. And these rifles come into the UK through Armex of Birmingham, but are available worldwide. Starting with the stock, it's Italian from Minelli, and it fits really well with a high quality finish. Snuggled in the front of the stock is the 200cc 232 bar fill buddy bottle, which is rounded at the front. Filling the bottle is easy with the quick fill adapter and the filling port is on the base of the rifle, embedded in the forend next to the fill gauge. The barrel floats out of the breech, finishing with a weighty barrel sculpture at the end, which can be removed easily should you wish to add an optional silencer. And that barrel, matched with the simple but effective breech system, works a treat. Aspects of the breech and loading system have been seen before in earlier popular models but now being tuned for use with compressed air instead of CO2, the parts come alive and work as they have always been intended. Loading the R8 is very simple. Pull the bolt back and then slide the magazine retainer back. The magazine ejects on the left hand side. The magazine has a nice cast finish and around the outside you've got like a rubber retaining band, which is what actually holds the pellets in place. So we're going to go ahead and pop the pellets in. As you can see, it's very simple, a nice one-handed affair. Let's see if we can get eight in before you press the fast forward button. Ta-da! Done. When the pellets are in the R8 magazine, they're not coming out. They're held in there really tightly by that rubber band. And here's a little tip for you, should you wish to make the loading process of each pellet a little less notchy, just push them forward a little bit in the magazine. It actually makes it a lot smoother process. At the rear of the breech is the manual safety, which is resettable. If you love air guns like me, press the subscribe button. I'm not paid to stand here and tell you it's the best. The way it works with my channel is that if it's good, it goes on the show. So if you don't want to miss all the latest stuff coming soon, press the subscribe button. And if you could please, press the like button as well. Thank you.
What a result. At 15 yards, it's basically one pallet hole. At 26 yards, it's a sub two and a half centimeter group. And I actually shot that one with the scope cam. But what really makes this outstanding is its 50 yard accuracy. Yes, 50 yards. I'm hitting four centimeter spinners with ease at 50 yards. This is normal territory for much more expensive rifles. So watch out the big boys, because yet again, I've been surprised by manufacturers from outside of the UK, raising the bar and giving you more bang for your buck. If you want to replicate my results, get yourself a good scope and a good set of scope mounts. I favor sports matches, and that's because I know that they're gonna hold my scope steady and firm and my scope's not going to be waving around in the air in the next 50 shots. Oh, and minus the scope, the R8 weighs 3.85 kilos. And if you're desperate to know what pellet I was using, it's the Daystate Sovereigns. So, good scope, good mounts, good pellets means you're on target. From barrel tip to rubberized shoulder pad, the R8 is 95 centimeters long and that makes it a good compact little hunter. My version of the R8 is a 2.2 caliber and it's the sub 12 foot pound version, but it does also come in 177 and a range of different powers. If you want to know more, please click on the description link in the box below. The R8 is a weighty gun, but it's weighty right in the middle, about there. You can actually feel the weight, but it's not unbalanced, just weighty. But where the weight is, is where that stippling is underneath. And that goes all the way around. So you're never gonna lose grip of the rifle. The trigger is two stage adjustable and the trigger guard is metal. However, the trigger is made of a composite plastic. It still gives plenty of feedback to your finger and you always know exactly where the trigger is. But I'm just not a fan of plastic triggers. There you are then, that's my review of the Walther Rotex R8. And what do I think? Well, I actually think it's gonna cause a little bit of trouble. And the reason for that is it sets a new benchmark for value for a buddy bottle air rifle. Never seen anything like it in that price range. It's simply superb. I'm hitting four centimeter spinners at 50 yards over and over again. With ease, I'd like to point out. So if you've got the pennies in your pocket and you're new to air rifling, or if you're a 50 year stalwart of everything air guns, either way, pick this up, give it a try, because every shot is gonna make you smile. And I can heartily recommend it to you. There you are then, thanks for watching. See you soon, bye bye.